Hello coders, welcome to Refresh Coding. My name is Madhulika and in this video we are going to see how we can push our STS or Eclipse project on GitHub. So what is the first thing you need to do? You need to go to github.com and you need to sign up. If you don't have any account, you need to sign up first. So in the sign up, you will have to provide your mail ID, username and password. And you should remember your username and password because you would require it to sign into your github account so you just give your email here username and password and you are good to go so now since i already have an account so i will not sign up once again i will go to my account here if you can see i already have a github account and i am logged into my account so i will try to push this project which i have created in sts it is a spring boot project and i will push this project on github so you need to know one thing that earlier you you can connect your sts or eclipse with github by using the username and password but now that is not the thing since august 2021 onwards you need a access token to connect with your sts so what is the first thing we will do we will generate a token here so how to generate that access token in github so what is the first thing you need to do you need to go here and you need to go to settings now i will just sign in once again uh, because maybe i was signed out okay so here i am inside settings so what you need to do just go here where you can see this blue button and go to settings so inside setting now what do you will do inside setting you need to go to uh, this developer settings and in the developer settings you need to go to personal access tokens so here if you see you are supposed to generate a new token first so since i already have a token so i can use this token otherwise what you can do you can simply generate a new token and you can give this token any name let's say i am giving a name as my git token or my token whatever name you want to give so my token and here you can set the expiry date whatever you want to set okay like 30 days or you know 60 days 90 days whatever days you will set in those many days this token will expire if you don't want it to expire you can just set no expiration okay that is also fine now what is the next thing you need to do you need to select scopes so make sure you are here you are selecting this repo scopes because i want to push my project to github repositories so i need this scope and the second thing you can select this write package also and this other other things are optional but repo must be there remember this thing so you can just go ahead with repo also fine because all the other things are already included inside repo after this you will just go down 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 and generate token now it will take a few seconds and your token is ready so this is what is your token and you will have to remember one thing make sure to copy your personal access token now because you won't be able to see it again okay again if you will come to your github account you will not be able to see it so make sure you copy it and you save it somewhere like in some notepad or something so i will just open a notepad and i will copy this token in the notepad I will save it and I will keep it with me so that whenever I want to access my github through a personal access token I will use this token. Okay so now the next step is you need to go to STS and what is the first thing you need to do here is you need to go in git perspective first because you are going to push your project to github so for that you need to go to git perspective by default this perspective will be there with sts and eclipse and in case if if you are not getting this perspective just go to help eclipse marketplace and 
just check whether that git plugin is uh, installed there or not so if you will just go to eclipse marketplace it will take some time to open so here in eclipse marketplace just search for git and go and if you can see now this e git git integration for eclipse uh, and 6.0.0 or whatever version you are using that is installed in my system so if it is not installed in your system you will not be able to get this git perspective so please install it first okay so it is already installed in my system so i will cancel it and i am in git perspective right now so if you can see the git perspective it is little different than your normal java perspective okay here you are getting three options you can add an existing local git repository or you can clone a git repository or you can create a new local git repository so what is what is our requirement we already have a project and we want to push it to github so what we will do we will clone a git repository clone a git repository means we will create a clone of it or we will create a duplicate repository of our git repository in our local system but where is the repository which repository i will clone okay so for that what i will do i will go to github and here i will just create a new repository first so i will create a repository and here you can give any repository name so let's say i will give this repository name as uh, service because i want to push a book service here so let's say i will give this repository name as services and description is optional you can give any description i will just give here a description as my micro services this is optional if you don't want to give it is okay and keep it public because if you will try to make a private github repository then it is not free so keep it public add a, if you want to add a readme file you can add it from here or you can skip this and that's it just create repository and now if you see your repository is ready so this is what is your uh, repository url github.com your username and then whatever your repository no name you have given that dot get and after this i will come down down nothing you no need no need to do anything here now what we will do we will just clone this url in our sts so what i will do i will just copy it from here make sure you are in https okay don't go in ssh because it will give you a different url then so select this https and copy this url after that come back to your sts and just clone a git repository so if you see here automatic all these things will come okay your repository url your user and your password but it is coming in my system because i have already configured my personal access token with my sts so what you need to do for this what what is the first thing you need to do here after opening this git repository sorry after opening this git perspective in the sts you just need to go to windows and preferences and here you need to go to version control or you can say team earlier it was only teams but now it is this version control team so be careful with this and go to git if you will expand this git just expand this git you will see a lot of thing and here you are supposed to select this configuration now if you will open this configuration it will give you some configuration like this okay make sure you are in user settings in configuration not in repository setting go to user setting and here you if you will see you it will give you all this user settings so first thing what you need to do is you need to give your email you need to give your username whatever username you are using for github and in here in signing key here you need to give your 
token if you can see i have already pasted my token here so whatever token is generated for you whatever you have saved in your notepad just copy that token and paste it here okay so paste it here and after that apply and close so now when you will try to clone a git repository okay it is not giving me anything right now because i will have to select that url once again so i will just copy this url once again i will come in sts and clone a git repository and it will give me all these details again so in your case if it is not giving you user and password what you need to do you just need to give your username here and your password means your token here it will not work with passwords now uh, august 2021 onwards it will not work with your username and password you will have to paste your token here and here also make sure you are selected https only and uh, that's it just do next it will create a local repository uh, so this is the path of my local repositories in your system it will be according to whatever your system settings are there i will just finish it and it will take some time and if you can see it is creating a local repository as services you can go to the path in your system which is users and there will be a dot git folder and you can see all these local repositories now i want to push a project to this repository so right now if you can see i can't see the projects because that package explorer is missing so i will just go to windows show view and package explorer so my projects are here now which project i want to push i want to push the book service so what i will do right click and team and share project so here if you can see the moment you will share the project it will ask you for the repository so just expand it from here and select this whatever local repository you have cloned and after that nothing else just do finish it will take some time and if you see your project will come here in your local repository now what you need to do you need to push this project to your github from here so what here you are supposed to go to git staging here if you see you have many options history synchronize you are just supposed to go to git staging and here you will get your unstaged changes so it will just take some time and you will get this all these things so just what you need to do select it and do control a and add this to staged changes means i want to push all these things to my github repository and just give here any uh, you know comment you can give any comment push commit send whatever you want to do i will just unselect it because otherwise it will ask me that signing key once again and commit and push okay so if you see now your project is pushed to services means whatever my repository name and this is what is my repository okay so i can copy my repository from here and i can share it whatever wherever i want i will just close it and i'll go to github.com and i will verify the repository and if you can see here i got my book service project here i will expand it and all the code is there okay if i will see all the code is there i will get it whatever whatever code i have created so my project is successfully pushed to github now i can share this url anywhere and my project will be accessible that's it
थैंक यू एंड इफ़ यू लाइक द वीडियो प्लीज़ लाइक इट सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल थैंक यू